Welcome back to the Data Professor YouTube channel. If you're new here, my name is Chinin Nanta Senamad, and I'm an associate professor of bioinformatics. On this YouTube channel, we cover about data science concepts and practical tutorials. So if you're into this kind of content, please consider subscribing. So probably you're making good use of Google Colab for your data science projects. And let's say that there is some particular packages that you might want to be installed and used in your Google Colab, but it's not possible when you type in Conda. So in this video, I will be showing you exactly how we can install Conda right inside the Google Colab. And then I'm going to show you how you can install other packages using Conda. So without further ado, let's get started. So the first thing that you want to do is head over to the GitHub of the data professor, click on code repository and then click on the Python repository find Google Colab install conda and click on that and then you can right click on the raw link save link as and then save it into your computer or alternatively you can also open up your Google Colab and find it inside there so let me show you click on the github tab Search for Data Professor, enter, and then find Google Colab, install Conda. Okay, so you can see that today's code will be quite short. It will be only two cells. And essentially, you could use the first cell and keep it handy at the top of your notebook where it will essentially install Conda before you actually begin your workflow. And so the good thing about this is that Conda manages the installation of packages and the dependency of the package. So for example, in bioinformatics, there is a package called RDKit. So typically that package will encompass pretty lengthy installation process where you have to compile in C and you have to do several installation and you have to make sure that all of the dependencies are installed properly. But when you install it in Conda, it's only a single line of code. So it is very handy and very convenient. And you could keep it at the top of your notebook before you run the other cells as part of the workflow. Okay, so let's deep dive into what's in the code. So you will see that the first line of code here will say exclamation mark w get. So what it essentially does is it will download the installation bash file called the miniconda3 and it will download this directly from the anaconda website. And so this is the miniconda. So it is the concise version of the anaconda, which is also the package manager of the Python packages. So Miniconda is the command line version. So after downloading, the next line of code will be giving the permission to execute the file miniconda3.sh. And so on the third line of the code, it will run the installation script. And then finally, you will use the sys package in order to append the path of your newly installed Python 3.7 into the Google Colab. Okay, and let's run that. And when we click on running, it will ask us to confirm. Click on run anyway and wait a few moments and Conda will be installed right inside your Google Colab. Okay, so it gives us a number one here and at the bottom it says installation finished. And so now Conda is already installed. And now let's install the RDKit package that I would normally use for my research projects. So with the exclamation mark, type Conda install. So the first RDKit that you see here is the name of the channel invoked by the dash C command and then followed by the name of the package, which is going by the same name, RDKit. And then you want to have dash Y in order to automatically confirm the installation. So let's run that block of code. Because if you don't put in the dash Y, it will ask you to confirm the installation of the package. And so using dash Y, it means that you will automatically confirm already beforehand. And so you see that right now it is trying to install the dependency of the RDKit package. Okay, and now it's completed the installation. And so let's confirm that a little bit by importing RDKit. Okay, and it works. Okay, so now we have the RDKit installed. So let's test the package with some examples. Okay, let's highlight a substructure in the molecule. Okay. 
Okay, here you go. So we have already highlighted the substructure component of the molecule. And so the Articut package is very useful for chem informatics research, which will be crucial for computational drug discovery. So it is how we apply machine learning in order to make sense of the big chemical data. And so it will be important in designing new drugs, discovering new drugs, and optimizing the pharmacokinetic properties of the drug so that it will be safe and potent. Okay, so you can give Conda a try with other packages that might not already be included on the Google Colab. So as always, you can type in the exclamation mark, Conda install, and then the name of the package that you want to be installed. If the package is contained within a special channel, you have to specify with a dash C and then the name of the channel and then the name of the package and then dash Y to confirm the installation. So let me see if I want to install Gromax and it's just simply conda install Gromax. Okay, so you see that they want us to specify the name of the channel, which is Bioconda. So let's try doing that. Conda install the name of the channel, Bioconda, and then the name of the package, and then dash Y to confirm. And so you might be wondering what is the Gromax package. So in bioinformatics, the Gromax package will allow you to perform simulation of the molecular dynamics of proteins, biomolecules, lipids, carbohydrates. So it will allow us to simulate the behavior of the proteins and other biomolecule in a simulated water box. And there will be different parameterization of water molecules of the different force field of the molecule system. And the important thing that we can get out of this is the trajectory or the set of confirmation that the molecule undergoes as a function of time. And so as time moves on, the molecular system will fluctuate. The coordinate will be very fluid and it will move about in the water box. So what we can get out of this is it will allow us to better understand the molecular basis of how the protein works. And with more understanding, we can design a better drug we can potently inhibit the target protein of our interest. And so you can see that the Gromax package is already installed. And so this comes in handy when you want to install packages that normally would not be available on the Google Colab. And so if pip install is not the solution for you in that it might be difficult to install or quite tedious to install, then you could easily use Conda. And so keep this block of code handy for your data science project. So feel free to copy it and paste it at the top of your notebook, okay? And so as always, the best way to learn data science is to do data science and to expand your data science portfolio, upload it to GitHub, and enjoy. Thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe, and share, and I'll see you in the next one. But in the meantime, please check out these videos.